Good morning, Volkswagen friends. My name is Thomas Tetzloff and I'm the Public Relations Manager at Volkswagen Canada. Electricity is the future of the auto industry. Everybody agrees at that. The question that most people have is, when is that future going to arrive? Is it going to arrive this year? Is it going to arrive next year? Is it going to arrive in 10, 20 years? Governments are having these discussions in terms of how do we support the infrastructure? Where do we put the charging network? The early adopters have already come in. Yep. You know, we've seen these people, the enthusiasts, they've gotten on the bandwagon. They've looked at this and said, hey, zero local emissions. They're seeing the results of years of pollution. And here's something that will work. Here's a car like the e-Golf that has a range of 200 kilometers on one charge. Yep. For the average Canadian, that's not a day's drive, that's a whole week's drive. Yeah. In three years time, Volkswagen is going to have a complete lineup of electric vehicles. Yeah, I'm understanding that. We've spent billions of dollars and we have billions more in the bank that are gonna to go towards what we're calling our MEB platform, which is a modular electric platform which will underpin a complete lineup of cars. We're gonna have small passenger cars, we're gonna have luxurious sedans, we're gonna have sport utilities, we're gonna have funky cars all of them built on the same structure. And in so doing, we're able to maximize our technological investment. When we developed this latest generation of Golf, we made it modular as well. So under the hood, you could put a pure electric, you could put a hybrid, mm -hmm. you could put an internal combustion engine, and who knows what else. But we've made it such that it's very flexible. But having said that, if you make it work for everything, yeah. it might not be Quite ideal right. for anything. So here's a car that was originally designed for gasoline engines, retrofitted for electricity. The result is great, but we know we can get even better if we dedicate to electricity. That's why I love the fact that the e-Golf is based on a regular Golf. Here's a car that we've sold 33 million copies of worldwide. Oh, yeah. You sit down in it and you drive away and your first thought is, this is the quietest Golf I've ever driven. Mm -hmm. And on that same first, that 1A if you will, it's electric. So the, this one is straight electric, is that correct? Straight electric. Can we look under the hood? And you certainly can. Can you do that for me? Is Absolutely. That possible? This almost reminds me of a gasoline engine, but it's not, right? Exactly. You know, it's in the same place. <laughs> okay. So, you know, when you pop the hood, you're going to say, oh, look at that. It's got a windshield washer. It's got a regular battery yeah, and yeah. such. And people will look and say, regular battery? Is that what powers the car? No, that's, of course, for your accessory drives, yep. your windshield wipers and such. Got it. But the drive for the vehicle is all here in the same places. And the beauty is with this e-golf there's some advantages that are inherent to an electric powertrain and let me just outline a couple sure. of them it gets cold in canada occasionally it certainly does in toronto uh, we had minus 31 so i know it was like charging my car exactly but imagine if you could get up in the morning get in your car and it was preheated to 21 degrees the windows were defrosted everything was perfect Here's your solution. You can program it into program your central it. dash, oh, okay. Very good. and you can tell it, I want the car at 21 degrees at, this at time 8 a.m. Yeah, you. you come out, as long as it's plugged in, you're good to go. Artificial intelligence is something that's really a buzzword in our industry, where cars learn from you. You know, navigation systems learn your favorite routes, and mm -hmm. they start checking out the traffic patterns and such. Well, our cars can do that too. More and more and more you're going to see, especially with our next generation cars, the MEB cars I referred to, mm -hmm. these cars are going to be super intelligent. And they're going to learn from the driver and you're going to have to do less, but you're going to get more. Yeah, I It's going to be a real experience. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Mind. I really appreciate it. Absolutely fun. With that, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear Volkswagen fans, I would like to say thank you for your attention and please enjoy the rest of the day at the Motor Show. Thank you.